Good morning, my friends. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. What a day I've had yesterday. I met with a very, very dear friend. Maral and her husband had come over and to wish mom a happy birthday. And we remembered how at young age, at eight years old, when we went to the altar and gave our hearts to the Lord in Beirut, Lebanon. And of course, we talked about a lot of things. And then yesterday, we had some telephone calls and some people that we saw here and there. And the news has been really very disturbing because one moment it is truth but you don't know if you should believe it then the next moment you hear something else and you don't know if you should believe it so through the night as i woke up i think it was about 2 30 and couldn't sleep and so many thoughts and things were going through my head and i just went to the lord and i kept asking him what is happening why am i losing my sleep and my peace because there are times where fear will rise up in your heart and there is moments where we feel like it's a storm that just comes up, rises up inside of us in a moment's time. And when I got to the Word of God last night, I was reading the Word of God before I went to bed and I, was in, I got to chapter 28. I'm in Exodus, but now God is showing them how to make the tabernacle and it was very interesting. And I kept reading and reading because I was so tired. I wanted to fill my mind with God's Word before I went to sleep. And when I got to chapter 28, what's neat is God has detailed plans for his people, for the children of Israel. He told Moses, build it as I have shown you in the mountain. God was showing him every detail of the colors and the, the size and the way every detail of the tabernacle was going to be built because there was a real tabernacle in heaven. God was showing Moses where the throne room, where the Holy of Holies is, where our God is today in his Holy of Holies with elders worshiping him. When we read in Revelation, we see what is going on in heaven. If you have ever wondered, Lord, what is going on up there? We have loved ones, Danny, my brother, my daddy, my uncle, my cousin, and all these people that I say, what is going on, Lord, in heaven? I just want to see, give me a glimpse. We can go to Revelation and get a glimpse of what's going on in heaven. But when God was showing Moses the throne room, and then it comes to chapter 28. This is what gripped me, verse 3. And you shall speak unto all that are wise-hearted, whom I have filled with the spirit of wisdom. When I read that, it just gripped me. I said, Lord, your Holy Spirit is the one that brings wisdom. When we read wisdom, about wisdom in Proverbs, it's the Holy Spirit, the Word of God is talking about. So I went this morning to the words of Jesus. And first, I wanted to go and find out what the Lord Jesus said about the Holy Spirit. And he is the one that in John 14, he said, verse 1, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. Jesus was telling his disciples and he's telling us today, let not your hearts be troubled. You believe in me, you believe in God. And then he said, it is important that I go away because if I don't go away, I cannot have the Holy Spirit come because he said, I will go away and I will send him the comforter, another comforter that he will abide with you forever. So the Father will give us another comforter, which was the Holy Spirit. Because we have Jesus and he is the comforter. He is the wonderful counselor. He is the mighty God. He is the everlasting Father. But now we see that he is going to give us another comforter and he sent the Spirit of truth even the spirit of truth so when the holy spirit comes in us when we have that spirit of wisdom which is the holy spirit when he comes he brings 
the spirit of truth in us. I was thinking yesterday, what is the news that we're hearing? Oh, be careful, there's so much sickness out there. Yes, but somehow they want to bring fear in us, this enemy of our soul in the world today, which comes from the devil because he is the father of lies. Every lie is coming out from him. And when we hear these news that there is sicknesses, yes, Jesus said in John 16, 33, in this world, you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. So the spirit of truth in us tells us, don't fear. I have overcome already. Yes, there is disease. Yes, there is a defeat in the world. Are we going to lose hope? No, because our hope is not in the news of this today and that today. Our hope is in the Lord and he is unchanging. He says, I have overcome. So do we win in the end? Yes, but we win now because he's an overcomer. And he says, greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world today. So when I was reading the in Matthew, where it is the disciples and they are just in a boat and it says, Jesus and um, verse 23 of chapter 8, and it says, And when he was entered, Jesus enters into the boat. His disciples followed him. Behold, there arose a great tempest in the sea, in so much that the ship was covered with waves, but Jesus was sleeping. Jesus was sleeping. We say the waves were coming in, but he's still sleeping because he was so at peace. He knew he is in the boat. So the truth is, yes, there was a great storm. The truth in our lives is, yes, there is great storms in our day, day after day, night after night. When I woke up last night, waves were coming into my life with thoughts and keeping me awake. But Jesus says he was sleeping and here the disciples come to him and they wake him up and they say, Lord, Lord, save us. We perish. The truth was, yes, great storm. But the lie was that they thought they were going to perish. This is the truth today. Yes, there is a storm. There is many storms our way. Armenia news is coming that is so devastating. And so we just need to pray, God, please intervene. God, your mercy and grace, your mercy and grace, because these are truths in our life. There is trouble. Jesus said, yes, there will be trouble. But take heart, I have overcome the world. And here he gets up. He says, why are you so fearful? Where is your faith? And he tells, he rebukes the storm. We need to stand, rebuke the enemy. And we need to know that by the Lord, we can have this great calm that came upon them. And then the disciples were saying, who is this? That the winds and the sea obey him. This is truth. God is still in control of the waves and the sea. They will obey him. Jeremiah 33, 3. Yesterday we had uh, people on the phone and we were giving verses. And this was one of the verses for someone. And then my mom got a letter from our daughter and the grandchildren. And they had sent this verse to her. And I said, Lord, that is such a great verse. It says, call me and I will show you great and mighty things. Today is the day the Lord has messages for us. He has his word to speak truth to us. And so we need to look to the Lord for truth in our life. And the last truth that I want to finish with today is Psalms 23. And the last verse where he says, surely... Goodness and mercy, verse 6, shall follow me all the days of my life. They will follow me all the days of my life. So today we have this truth, this God's words telling us, greater is he that is in us because surely goodness and mercy because of that will follow us and we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Be blessed today.